classic way to stop a currency crisis is to raise interest rates massively, which is what Russia did this week. The objective is to basically offer foreign investors a big yield to come back and buy assets in that currency. Unfortunately, massive interest rates also cause recessions and credit crunches. And so it's time for Russia to consider slightly more unorthodox measures. The objective broadly is to keep as many assets as impossible in rubles. So that means actually stopping foreign investors from repatriating profits out of the country or stopping depositors moving from rubles to foreign currency deposits and also stopping your own exporters um, from keeping earnings in foreign currency. You actually make them convert them into rubles. You know, that is quite an authoritarian way of actually solving a currency crisis, but that is what capital controls involve. Capital controls sound like they might work in theory, but in practice, Russia is a kleptocratic state. And when you start impeding flows of foreign investment into the country and from the country, uh, eventually those foreigners are going to fear that you'll begin stealing their investment. And so one effect and one risk is that far from restoring confidence in the currency, it will just destroy it even further.